and thank you for joining me, Nicole, for a T-Rex tutorial. We are going to draw a simple T-Rex, um, no detail or anything, but the basic shape. And you can always go back and add your own detail and your own coloring and see what you can create on your own. All right, so we do need a pencil, an eraser, and possibly a pencil sh sharpener just in case um, your pencil tip breaks. It happens to me all the time. So I'm going to put my eraser right there so it's handy. All right, so we are going to start with the head. Now, anytime I draw any kind of animal or creature, I like to break it down into shapes first. I don't normally just draw the outline as I go. I break it down into shapes that are recognizable. And then I erase the middle part where all the lines that I don't need. And I do this for pretty much any kind of animal that I'm going to draw. So... And if you went through preschool and you know all your shapes, then you should be able to follow along. All right, so we're going to start with the head, which is generally where I like to start. And we're going to do a rectangle. Not a rectangle, sorry, square. See, I don't know my shapes. Okay, so a square. And I'm going to press down a little bit harder than I would normally, just so you can see. If I were you at this point, I would do all my penciling very lightly because a lot of this we're going to erase the inside parts that we don't need later. And then we're going to, now we're going to do a rectangle. So we're going to make it go in this box, overlap, and we want it a little bit further down from the top of the box. This is the top part of the jaw and the nose. Next, we're going to make another rectangle but this rectangle is going to be at a slope like that now we're going to add let's see we're going to go from the back of the rectangle like this this is going to be the neck and we want it to be a little bit thinner here so we have two lines two straight lines and we're going to come across like there. This is at an angle as well. So this is the neck right here. We're ending at the shoulder. Next thing we're going to do is make a half circle or it kind of looks like a U. So a U shape. And this is the shoulder. Then we're going to make a, an oval. So the oval, this is part of the arm. And then let's see, make another thinner oval, very long, very skinny oval, and then a little tiny oval at the end. So we have, this is the arm and you can kind of see the shape of it. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is the other hip and I'm going to make an egg shape egg shape and it doesn't quite touch that part of the body if yours says that's okay it'll just mean that the hip is a little bit higher than mine then we're going to make an oval so you could make a full oval if you really wanted to i'm going to stop at my egg shape right here because i don't i know i'm going to erase this in a little bit then i'm going to make another oval at this angle and it overlaps this is like a joint right here so sometimes when I draw animals, I will draw in their joints with a circle, just so I know that's where it bends. And this will all be erased as well. Okay, and then I'm going to make the foot. Now the foot is going to be kind of an oval. It's gonna be a carrot shape. So an oval where one end is a little bit wider and it's a lot thinner by the leg. And we want this pretty big because this is a big T-Rex and we want it to be sturdy and have big, big feet. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the other leg. And I know it looks pretty silly right now. It looks not quite like you would think a T-Rex would look. So we have an oval, which you could make a full oval like that and just erase that in a little bit. And then a little oval. And we don't want this oval to go down quite as far as this is. So if I were to put, say my scissors going across here, see how the foot is sitting on my scissors right there? We want this one to be a little bit shorter because it's further away from us and that's perspective. It's showing you perspective that this one is on the opposite side of our T-Rex and it's far away. So it should appear smaller to us. 
Okay, so now I have the top half and the bottom half, and they're not connected, which is silly. So I'm going to just connect right here, just the line right there. And then back here, we're going to take this. This is where we're not using as many shapes, but I'm going to just make a J shape that goes around. So this is his back right here and a J shape. Then I'm going to take and make a tail. And this tail I'm going to make come in front of this leg. And we want it wider where it connected to our body and thinner when we get far away. So we want a nice pointy tail shape at the end. Let's see how we went across this. We're going to end up erasing this. And I'm just going to make a little bit of a line there to connect my tail there. Okay, so now we have all of these shapes, and that looks like a silly T-Rex at the moment. So, I'm going to go ahead and erase all the lines that I know for sure I'm not going to need. And that's going to be most of the lines that are inside the outline. I need some of that. And just clear that up. So, all of those at the head, we just want to see the outline at the moment. We do need another hand coming out there, but we'll do that in just a second. So tail, my tail is in the foreground, which means it's closer to me. So anything it overlapped is going to be erased because we just want to see the tail. Okay, so... Now I have the basic outline and it's starting to look a little bit more like a T-Rex, but I want to round out some of these edges now. So we did a lot of shapes, but now I want to round that corner and I want to round the back of the head. And then we take the eraser. So this is a good time to have a very good eraser. Or if your eraser is not so good and it's leaving marks, then it's a great idea to want to go back and color your T-Rex. And that'll cover up some of those marks that couldn't quite get erased, like you can see this right here. All right, so we rounded out the head a little bit. And we're going to come onto the nose. I'm actually going to make it a little bit rounded up above my rectangle. And then I'm going to slope down on my nose here. I'm going to erase that. And then I'm going to make a line here that goes down. And I'm going to start making my lines darker so you can see them better. You don't have to make them quite as dark. This jaw right here, I'm going to make just a little bigger, but I'm following the same line. We want to round the bottom jaw. And you can make your mouth way bigger. You can make it so it was super wide, about to chomp something. T-Rexes were carnivores, apparently. Okay, and then this, I'm going to make a big jaw in here. Jawline. We could go ahead and add some teeth in here. Here. As many little teeth in there as you'd like. Then we're going to smooth this out and round it a little bit and work down to our arm. So T Rex has had little tiny arms, and I'm going to round that corner there. Make that a little bit darker. And now we want to put some claws. So we don't want this little rounded section. That was just to mark where we wanted our hand to be. So I'm going to add, I guess I'll add three fingers for now. I'm not sure about my T-Rex anatomy. Probably should look that up. Okay, so I have three little fingers on that side. I am going to have a claw coming down here. On this side like that it's just behind him so his other shoulders like up here somewhere and then I'm gonna go back to the head back of the head 
Now I went straight down here. I'm going to kind of make a little loop there. That's more of his shoulder blades. And down here. So then I'll erase this all right here. So it kind of looks like a slide going down. You have a little bump there and then we down there. Okay. So my tail looks pretty good. I don't really need to change anything with my tail. It's wider up here and it gets smaller down here. Let me curve that around. I change all, my mind all the time with art. Sometimes I like it. Sometimes as I'm going, I want to change it. Okay, so then let's go over to this leg. And we're going to make a line that's in here. We did erase a line, but we're going to make a line there. Come down here. We want a big foreleg muscle there. So I made it come out just a little bit more. And it looks like a big muscle. And this one I kind of sloped in like this. And then we're going to go straight down on this side and like this. So before I had this oval here. Now I have kind of a heel going right here and I slanted it. And then this is also slanted. Then I'm going to make, oop, that's not straight. Okay. I want his bottom of his foot to be straight on the ground. And this was just a guideline, our big, huge carrot. And I'm going to make some toes like that and some big old claws, scary claws. And then I'm going to make another toe. This toe goes past that one and has claws. And then this little toe back here is not going too much further. And I'm going to erase that top. And you could make that go all the way down. Okay, so then we still have this back leg here. So I'm going to smooth that out. I didn't even erase my lines in there, did I? Okay, now I'm erasing my lines. Okay, and then same thing for this foot right here. We want the bottom to be flat. But remember, we want it higher up than this one. If I'm going across like this, which my hand's not real even across, but there should be some space in between here and here. So this one should be a little bit higher up. And I'm going to make one toe, the big claw. And this foot is pointed a different way, so we're not going to see the third toe all kinds of eraser stuff on here okay now let's see we'll go up and we'll do an eye just so everybody has that all right so the eye will be up here and you can just do a circle make them look kind of mad and then because we have an eye ridge here we'll do a little bit of an eye ridge over there it just looks like an upside down V. So a little bit there. And I feel like his head's too flat. So I'm going to go make it slightly taller. Okay. Just define some of my lines. And the great thing about doing this in pencil is you can keep going back if you don't quite like where a line is laying like that. Okay, so this is our basic T-Rex. I'm not going to do any detail. We could do all kinds of shading like this leg back here. If you're going to color it or paint it, this leg should have a bit of shadow right in here because of where it's sitting and what side we're seeing. So that should be darker than the rest of it. Maybe some more shadowing under here in between this arm and where this leg is. Definitely shadowing underneath the tail on this bottom side and the feet. And then you can add all kinds of scales or look up what dinosaurs might have looked like. You can find all different kinds of pictures and reference those. Or you can come up with a dinosaur all on your own and how you think it was colored. So I hope you had fun with this basic tutorial and I would love to see your finished T-Rexes and see how they turned out. Thank you guys.